60 knots, no slower than 60 in the pattern. That's controlled by our attitude outside, okay? There we go. Okay, now let's try our turn to base here. Nice coordinated turn, lots of rudder. We're going to start some spoilers out here. You got the spoilers? I do. Airspeed 6. Okay, I got the aircraft. We got to be 60 knots in this pattern. So if you look outside and see that picture, that looks like 60 knots. And that's what it looks like, okay? Now don't let the airspeed get below 60. You control that with your, with your nose up and down. Good. Okay, just flies right down the final, right at 60. Good. You got the spoiler. Uh, I got it. 60 knots. No slower. Let's get us into the center of the runway. Okay, now flare it out, hold it off, hold it off. Keep flying the plane, keep it level. I'm using the brakes, hold it level, hold it level. Excellent. Good. Okay, so you see how the slower we get, the, the bigger the aileron mo motions that you need to keep the wings level, right? Right, yeah. And I noticed you would, you would do it. Um, Some things I can do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing a lot of things right. Don't, don't let me fuss at you. No, 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 no. You got it, man. I got to, I got to learn this stuff, you know? Oh, uh, that landing here. made a lot more sense that time. It really did. Yeah, it was, uh, that landing was, was, was yeah, I mean, a, a little hard, but I mean, not, not bad at all. Uh, well, if, if I'm going to meet it right there at the apex of that hill, I think it's going to be hard every time. Isn't yes, it? right. That's what I thought. Okay. And now, now here's the thing is, is um, and you did a good job of flying that 60 all the way down final, but at one point in base, we were at 50 knots. Okay, yeah, so I wasn't watching the airspeed indicator, right. and I, I know you want to get the outside picture. Yeah. But you know, I really need to watch the airspeed indicator also. You, you do, yeah. and and yeah. so the, the best way to do that is is so in the pattern uh, when you do your free uh, landing checklist, yeah. what you do is you say, okay, you get down to uh, here, there's the speed for the pattern. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I've decided based on ground wind, I'm going to fly it at 60. Yeah. So then you set it to 60 and say, okay, when I'm at 60, that added the the. Um, Horizon line's right here. It's yeah. you know whatever that is, yeah. and that's going to be the same all the way down to the ground. Yeah. So now you do check it during the pattern, but once you have that picture set, it should it should give you 60 all the way. Well, that's what I've been doing on lift also on the other uh -huh. flights. Uh, we caught a thermal on my first flight, and I was able to regain 750 feet. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would, you know, uh, flight could say, well, you know, we're not. He's got the audible right device, old oh, portable audible yeah, yeah. device, right? Uh -huh. I could hear that, but I was still. Uh, doing a quick glance. No, and that's right. Yeah, that's at the very That's what so, you want to do. Okay. And it's the same thing with, with your airspeed and pattern. And, and uh, but I mean, it's particularly critical in pattern because if we got down to 50, yeah, it's hard to get it back at that. Well, what, at, and what'll happen is, yeah. oh, we got it. Um, uh, here, I'll get it. Okay. Oh, yeah, open. <laughs> Close. What'll happen is we'll get down uh, to the flare, and mm -hmm. when we start to flare it, we won't have any energy to do that with. And, and yeah. you'll flare, you hit stall speed, and just smash it. That's probably what I did last week. Yeah, and so we got what, 10 knots here, so you add half of that to 55, so 60, at least 60 in the pattern. Fly it all the way down the